So let's create a simple example of a rule just to show the mechanics on how rules are actually created and you see some of the things that we have been talking about here working in action and then on the last video of this series at least for now we're gonna go and show remediation with the sword tool so let's go here onto the uh, Threat Intelligence app and we're gonna search here for Conti as we did before and we are gonna look to a any one of these connections let's actually take a look at this one let's see whether we have IOCs in here and we do okay, that we're going to focus on these this particular uh, IP address there are hashes and other stuff in there so, so good so to deal with uh, reference sets there is a free app in Curator let me actually go into the Curator console there is a free app called reference data management and this is a good way of manipulating reference sets which are easy because there's there are only one one entry but if you have reference map or map of set this tool is the one for you so we're going to create two reference sets let's say that this we're going to call it uh, Conti IPs and so the type that we need to put in here are precisely IPs okay and time to leave we're gonna be putting you know let's do well we can actually put here forever uh, I don't think we have the option to do it forever but let's let's put a six months or so 12 months we create that one now we can actually add an entry to it by clicking here an entry notice you can import from files and stuff and we saw about the the, the taxi feed and we saw about the apps that do this but this is just for the sake of uh, demonstrating the, the, the how this stuff works so the the IP that we saw before was 23.106.160.174 right and we save that so we have that entry let's actually create an entry for hashes in the same way so we're going to create one that we're going to be calling Conti SHA one hashes time to leave again let's give it 12 month and the type is alphanumeric case insensitive for the hashes so we created that we're going to add just one entry for the purpose of the test I have it on the clipboard here Let me make sure I don't have any leading spaces click here save so we have the two if we were here to search for the Conti we have Conti IP with one entry Conti SHA one hashes with another so we're here on their offenses we click here on rules and we're gonna add a new flow rules we're gonna replace some traffic with these malicious items using Q&I so the filter is actually if we put the property actually if we put property there we got this one here on the top and that's the condition we want and we want when any of these flow properties and the flow properties that are extracted from q and I let's use the hash first is and we'll see that when we are replaying the log SHA one file hash added 
submit. Then when this property is contained in what reference set? Well, we said that the reference set is called Conti hashes. We add that and submit that. Now, we need to give it a rule. I'm going to delete this afterwards, but this is just a test. Country, Conti hashes. So we go to the second page and we are not going to do anything in here. It's always a good idea. Well, actually, we, we do need to make sure that this fire is uh, as part of an offense and we can index by any property. We just leave it source IP, right? Uh, and it's always a good idea to dispatch a new event because that is what, what will give the high level category of the event. Conti hash found put the description, need to put one, I'm going to just copy this one. Again, this is a very simple example. Let's select some adequate categories here. So let's select malware as a high level and low level phishing host. It is enabled. That's all we need. So let's actually save that. Now to test this rule what I'm going to do is I'm going to replay a pickup that contained that IP address and that hash that we created. We, we haven't created a rule for the IP, but we did create it for the hash. So let me actually go into the network activity because remember, I'm going to be doing this through QNI. There's no log sources. This is just traffic going, and QNI should compute the file hash of everything coming through. So I'm putting these two filters when associated with offense is true. And the destination IP is that Conti IP that we saw before. So let me actually replay the pickup, pause the video until that thing populates. It should be a minute or two. So, and here we have it. Notice that in one is the source IP and the other one is that Conti is the uh, destination IP. So if we, let's open this up and see what's in here. So we see that SHA file hash is uh, right here. This is the rest of the data put in the actual pickup that was built for this. And we have the other one. And we have our offense fire. Let me actually see before the refresh, everything is three days old. When I refresh in here, I get uh, this is this one. Uh, it's actually here's the the address, right? If we display the rules that were associated in here, that's the one we created. Actually, it's interesting. This is another rule that was here, and because that hash is also known by another rule in Curator, both contributed to the offense. But this is the one that we actually. Uh, created ourselves. You see it here. So that's one example. In the same way, if we want to uh, create another rule that will work with the IP address, let's actually click here on rule. So we're going to add another f uh, flow rule. And also, it's going to be working when the properties. Actually, this one on the top. So the flow property now is going to be the source or destination IP. Is containing any one of these reference sets. We look here for Conti. There was a Conti for IPs. Uh, this is the one we added here. We submit it. We give it a name. Conti IP. As before, 
we make sure that it fires an offense we can index by the source IP we want to dispatch a new event again to give it the right category so this will be Conti IP found I hope this is not too trivial for you guys uh, probably if it is you already are not watching this video and then the category here is again malware and we're going to be putting here uh, phishing activity or phishing host I think phishing host is more appropriate and that is it we finish let me actually uh, go back to my offenses and delete uh, any offense that is kind of recent and then I'm gonna re-replay that uh, traffic and you'll see that both are going to I mean we because they are indexed by the source IP they are gonna be they will all combine be combined into a single offense so pausing the video to do the replay of the picket again so here we see offense 58 and the naming was given by the other rule remember that there was another rule in here that fire and now we see that these other two rules contribute to our offense so either we get the hash or we get the IP we are gonna get an offense okay, so I hope that this uh, concludes the detection part of uh, how you the things that you can do in QReader to get it ready to detect uh, phishing and ransomware at least some of the things that I can remember and now let's in the final video we're going to be talking about okay one thing is to detect it how you remediate what are the things that you typically do to clean up this up to clean up this mess